then uh, connect this uh, zinc nail here with a uh, copper wire. Right here, I'm gonna connect the series four zinc nails. Or you can use aluminum nails if you can, or any aluminum materials. Connect it in series four in series like this. Okay, so this is the series connection of zinc or any you, you can use aluminum nails also or zinc okay so let's attach this to the banana trunk here Okay. Okay, connect the four screws in series so that it will generate more voltage when it is connected in series like this one. Also we will attach this with the banana branch. connection there with the banana and the copper screws and also with zinc nails okay so there they are next step is we're gonna connect this positive wire here the red wire indicates positive positive voltage of course, this black wire indicates the negative voltage. The red wire to the copper, to the copper screw here. So this one will produce positive voltage, and the black one will produce negative volts. Okay, let's try it with no further ado. Now guys, let us test now the voltage of coming out from this experiment. We have heard the voltmeter set in DC. Now let's attach the red wire to the red test prop. And the black wire. And the black wire here to the black test prop. Okay, so there is a reading. It's about uh, 12 volts direct current that's amazing and now let's try it on the lead bulb here okay so I have here the lead bulb this is about one watt one watt lead bulb so okay I have here the red wire for the red terminal and the black clip for the black wire here okay so very amazing I will disconnect the negative I'll connect disconnect well it only shows that this experiment is working the banana tree here it's a wild banana trunk wild banana tree 
where the copper screws in series and zinc metal in series also produces 12 volts of direct current that's electricity until this banana exists this electricity will work well thank you so much guys for watching my videos see you soon ciao for now